All right, let's go to the video. So this is uh, this is I'm going to go over a short and long that just happened now. We're going to walk through to, uh, through this today. Now this is a the Nasdaq futures. This is a 125.25. So I'm actually going to walk you through these setups before they happen today, and I'm going to be pointing out uh, particular failure trades before they come up. So this is 8 o'clock, uh, 8.30 in the morning. We just had a long here a second ago. We just had a short at 8 o'clock here about a half hour ago. Let's go over the specific setup, and then we'll roll into these, what I'm going to be going over this morning before they come up today. So we have four setups in the room, right? We have the first wave. We have where you have a trend change, and then you have a first wave sell. And then we have a slingshot, which is this, where the oscillator gets above 80, goes back below this bull threshold for the short here. Then we have a momentum trade, which is this, where both oscillators are pegged on a retracement below. You like to see them in extreme below uh, 20 for sells or above 80 for buys. And then the last one, we have a failure trade. So I'm, sp I'm particularly going to go through a failure trade, and I'm going to go through a continuation trade. And I'm going to show you how we can pinpoint these before they come up. So as we walk through these this morning, we had, what, eight of them in a row yesterday morning. And we're going to walk through them today with live price action. So let's go to the first one. This is the long that just happened just a second ago. But let's go here to this short, and then... I'll put these charts up, and I'm going to show you how we want to project these things as we go forward. What consists of a failure trade? We have these zones. So if you're going to become um, very knowledgeable in the room about the, our setups, you have to know about the zones, and you have to know about the signal lines below. So both of them have to work together, in other words, to find a trade. And so when we come down to the zones, we have green zones and red zones. Red zones means trend is down. Green zone mean, means trend is up. So for our trend trades, we have three trend trades, right? We have a first wave trade. Let's get through these, and then we'll go. We'll start talking about the failure trade particularly. We have first wave trade. These are all with zone trend. The second one we have a slingshot, which is an FZR full zone retracement or WPT, wrongly position trader trade. Three, we have a Momo. That's a momentum trade, which I call Momo. And then these two last trades that just happened here a second ago is a failure trade. So these are trend trades with zone trend. against zone trend, so these are what's called motive waves. In the market. One second. So there's your trend, trend trades, our motive waves. So those are the trend trades with the trend, meaning with the zone trend. If it's red, we sell. Green, we buy. And our fourth last trade setup, which we're going to go over today, and this, this is what's in this, uh, this last trade was a failure trade. The last one is called a corrective wave. This is against trend. Which is a corrective wave. These are the only four setups you need to know according to our method. And this one is called a failure. This is where it was along at this level here. I'll show you how we do it. All right, so 
that's the four setups we have according to our methodology. We have a first wave trade, slingshot, and momentum. These are all with zone trend. If zone's red, we're looking to sell. If zone is green, we're looking to buy. Against trend is corrective wave. That's called a failure trade, which is this one right here. So let's go over the, 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 these three setups real quick, and I'll go to the failure trade, and we're going to start stalking these setups here this morning on the failure trade. So the first wave trade is very simple. When you turn zone, when zones turn red to green, red to green or green to red, as soon as this zone turns red, you big arrow up here. So when this zone turns red to green, we're looking for price action to accelerate, come back down, and then continue. So what we'll do is if it turns red to green, we want to see green price bars. The first retracement, the red price bars, we want to see it retrace. And what we want to do is we want to see what's called a first wave slingshot. We want to see this small oscillator get below 20 and then shoot back up through our bear line of 65. Some of you are going at the uh, bull line here, which is fine if you went in earlier. But most of you are going 65 there. And that would be a first wave slingshot. So you're looking for an entry. If you do it here, it would be right around this level right there for a buy. That would be a first wave because we're getting a first wave, red to green, push, retrace, first wave up. A slingshot is just that. A slingshot is where we're red all the way down. The small, I have two oscillators, a large signal line and a small signal line. The small signal line on a slingshot is required. It must get above 80 and then come back down through. And like I said, some of you like to pull in right when she rolls over to a lower close and open. Um, and, but for the purpose of the slingshot, you, your pull-in can be when it breaks the bear, so you know you don't get a momentum trade. So that's a slingshot trade where you come up, you're trending down, you retrace back up, the oscillator gets above 80, full retracement, and then you shoot back down through the bear for an entry. And so this would be a slingshot trade. Okay? What a momentum trade in then because this would trend, a momentum trade is a pause in the market for a continuation. Now, momentum trade is where you come off of green to red and you're rolling down, but the oscillators stay pegged. Both oscillators, especially the large oscillator, has to be below the uh, 20 for sells or above the 80 for buys. But your best case scenario on a MOMO is where both signal lines are pegged below 20 for sells or pegged above 80 for buys. So this is where the arrow fired here. This is a momentum where the oscillator is just totally pegged. All right. So if we look at the price action now, we have the next one is a failure trade. A failure trade is a failed slingshot, meaning the, the slingshot never pulls in. So this last big short we had on the NASDAQ futures right here, this is a requirement for the slingshot. The large oscillator, the large thick line, has to go below 65. Now, what you'll do are 40 here for shorts. What, what I'll do is I'll walk you through these setups today when I see a failure possibly coming up on the NASDAQ futures today. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you before it, when it's setting up uh, for a trade, before it even happens. So if you go below 65, uh, 40, then you know you're in a possible slingshot or a failure. So once it goes below 60 or 40, I'm sorry, and I see green bar reversals, meaning a higher close than open, I want to bounce off that zone. I want it to bounce off the zone because I got a possible failure. What you'll do is what you'll watch this morning as I walk you through these trades is I watch a small oscillator then. As soon as that large oscillator gets below 40, I, I watch that small oscillator. That small oscillator is my key to seeing if it's a failure trade. If that small oscillator stays below my bear of 65 and I get a green, a red bar reversal after showing higher closes and open green bars, that's your entry. That's a failure short. And it was a huge short here this morning. So I went from a failure into a Momo, into a slingshot. Then I come over here, I go into a slingshot, back into a failure. Now this failure was different. The failure to the upside is different. The failure on the upside requires the large oscillator to get above 65. 
And then what I'll do, I want it to bounce. I want it to bounce, meaning I want it to bounce down a little bit off the zone. I want to see it bounce down a little bit because I, I don't want the trend change right away into a first wave yet. I want it to go to failure. So I let it to bounce down, and what I'll do is I'll watch a small oscillator. So when I say watch that small oscillator, I'm meaning the small oscillator has to stay above now 40. Where the cell, the small oscillator has to stay below 65 bare, the small oscillator on the buy has to stay above 65 bull. So let's go through this again real quick so you know my terminology when I walk through these setups here this morning all the way to 11 o'clock. If you look, the large oscillator right here, the large oscillator got below 40. I'm, we have a bounce on the... Um, we have a bounce on this zone. The small oscillator stays below 65. When I get a red bar reversal, that's a short. This buy right here, it just happened this morning here a second ago. The buy, the large oscillator got above 65. The small oscillator stayed above 40 bull. I got red bars for the bounce down and a green bar reversal. That's your entry. As soon as you get that green bar reversal, that's your entry. As soon as you get the red bar reversal, that's your entry. Now, the rhythm of this thing, let's talk about combos. Combos, what combos do I like? The combos, which I'm going to go over today, I'm going to show you the rhythm of this. The combos, the rhythm of it is this. It likes to go into a failure. Right into a slingshot. That's a combo. What does that mean? Once you go into a failure, I'm wanting this slingshot to slingshot. I'm wanting this market because what happens when you get a failure, you trend change, right? You get a first wave trend change. So I want a failure slingshot first wave. I want it to go up. And I want the small oscillator to get below 20 and jet right back through for a slingshot trade. So that's my combo. Failure right into the slingshot. So if you miss if you miss the failure, you're probably going to get a slingshot next. Okay. The next combo. The best momentum trades are slingshot momo. What does that mean? What I want to happen is what's happening right now. I want this to turn into a momentum trade. Right? And which it did. So this is the rhythm of it. This happens every single week on any given market is that you see this combination come up a lot over and over again. You'll start out with the failure because a failure is against trend. That starts us off. We come into the failure slingshot combo. Slingshot, I'm looking for that first slingshot. And then you go into what's called a momentum trade. <clears throat> a momentum, we got at least stay above 40 bull on the oscillators. Right? And you go into a momentum buy. This is a momentum buy. Right? So that's the slingshot Momo combo. The failure slingshot, meaning you get a failure, then a slingshot, then you get a slingshot Momo first wave. Okay? I'm sorry, you get a failure slingshot first wave. There we go. That's all the combos that come up during the day. We get a failure potentially happen right now on the um, on the Nasdaq right now. We get a failure possible happen on the Nasdaq. I'll show you in a sec, but that's the that's a combination. But you can see we're starting we're we're setting up for a possible failure. We we'll have to look at where uh, where we're at on the other chart. But the large oscillator is below 65. I mean below 40. My small oscillator has to stay below 65. We're getting a bounce off the zone, so we got a possible failure slingshot as we speak right now. Failure slingshot. Only two things can happen. The small oscillator, see, right there's your slingshot. Only two things can happen uh, when you come into this zone. It's going to slingshot or it's going to failure, right? So that's a slingshot because you want that, that small oscillator cannot go above 65. It's got to get a red bar reversal, okay? Well, let's look at the combo deal. The combos are very important to know this because this is the rhythm of the market according to my method. That's why I came up with these four setups. I wanted to come up with setups that you could trade your way through and navigate your way through different markets each day. 
the failure starts us off here into a slingshot first wave. Failure, first wave, slingshot, right? The slingshot then goes from slingshot to Momo. Where you got to be careful with Momos, here's where you got to be very careful with Momos, all right? You got to be careful with Momos on catching them late in the tooth. So if you start getting away from this price action like this, if we start getting away from it, and we're way away from our first wave or slingshot, I mean, it just starts going down really hot. You know, you, don't, you just got to be very careful with Momos if it doesn't do a slingshot first. What I like to do is I like to see the slingshot Momo combo. I like to see a full retracement into a slingshot and then get a first retracement into a Momo. That's a combo I like. Just like I like to do a failure, I like to see a failure that's failure long. That's a failure short that just happened on the NQ, and that's a failure long. I like to see the failure go into the slingshot first wave. I like to see the slingshot then go into the Momo. All right? So if you do it this way, you can project things. So when I walk you through the next failure trades, I'm going to uh, uh, particularly concentrate on these combos this morning for you when we watch the NQ. And, and what you'll notice, I'll do this combo, uh, these combos. I'll look for the failure first. Then I'll look for this, uh, fail, uh, they'll look for the failure slingshot, first wave. Then I'll look for the, after the failure happens, I'll look for the slingshot after it happens, I'll look for the combo, uh, I mean the Momo. The Momo is the last thing I look for after a, after a trend change. That's the last thing I look for. And that's the rhythm of it. So let's, let's recap this. We have four trades in the room. We have three trend trades in the room with zone, red zone. There's a first wave. That just means you go from red to green zones. And these trend trades have to be a zone color. If zones are red, we're trading with zone red. If zones are green, we're trading with green zones. The first wave is very simply we go red to green. We move up, get that first retracement, lower close in the open, red bars, and that first wave slingshot up where a first wave slingshot is we get that small signal line also it gets below 80 and jets back up through that bare zone of 65 for the pull-in to, to pull yourself in. Now, our indicator, our software you'll be getting on the update, it'll do this for you automatically. Um, all these will, um, on the toggle switches, they'll have arrows that come up on the toggle switches for you when these fire off. And like I said, um, I'll be working with Phil. Phil, I got all your notes. This uh, We'll go over this weekend. We'll get these firing correctly. So, um, but then you'll have a alert that pops up on the uh, on your speakers when a first wave, a slingshot momentum, or a failure comes up, okay? So then you go into what's called a momentum. A momentum is after you get into a slingshot, first wave, and then you're looking for both oscillators to stay above goal 40. A failure is very simple, and that's what we're going to go over today. So we're setting up for a failure right now, failure slingshot. I got my large oscillator right now below. My large oscillator below. So what I'll do on the speaker, I'll say, hey, we're setting up for a fail failure slingshot. What that means, I got my large oscillator below 40. As long as my small os oscillator stays below, I want to see this market bounce now. I, want to see, I don't want to see a trend change. I want to see a green bar reversal bounce up, or it's going to trend change on us for our first wave. I want to see it bounce, and I want to see that small oscillator stay below 65. If it does that, I get the first red bar pull in. you got another a failure trade coming up as we speak right now. All right, so that's the combination we're looking at, and that's what we'll work through today. So the, the, the language when I talk in the room, the language when I say we have a failure coming up, a failure slingshot, it means it's at the zone. This small oscillator, if I say a possible failure, that means that large signal line for cells is below 40, or it's above 65, it's setting up. So right now, it's setting up for a failure slingshot. So right now, is I want to see a bounce. I want to see a green, a higher close and open, a green bar. I don't see a trend change or the failure's over. I don't see red zones. 
I want to see a green bounce, a higher closing open on this on this candle. Then it sets up for a failure. Then I'll watch this small signal line. As long as I stay below 65, we'll have another trade. So two very successful trades this morning. This failure up here. If you're learning to trade the NASDAQ, I would learn the failure first. It's one that it's a really easy trade to spot. And I would learn the continuation with trend, which will be a momo after a momo after you come out of FZR because it's it's the same thing as a failure. So if I get a momo out of FZR, I'll show you in a second when it forms today, it's with trend. And we had a lot of them yesterday. So you're actually trading motive ways with trend coming out of FZR with the momentum like you trade the failure trade. It's a really neat setup. But you notice now we got the bounce. Now I'm setting up for a failure trade right here. Let's just watch this. I'm setting up for a failure trade. My large oscillator is below 40. My small oscillator is still below. Now the failure trades off and turned into a sling. So if you just wanted to stock failure trades, you could just watch this and trade failure trades all day long by themselves. Like I said, we had, what, 10 over 10 before 11 o'clock yesterday morning. From 8.30 to 10, we had 10 of these. Over 10, actually, probably. We had a lot of them. So see how the failure is no longer valid because my small oscillator is above 65. So you can't trade, you can't trade the, uh, the failure. So if you just want to trade the failure and that's it and no other trade setup, you can just watch that zones with the large signal line and small oscillator and catch two trades this morning since 8 o'clock so far.